if you Google feng shui, like a lot of people ask about the money corner, which is a little corner in your home that you put cute things like golden cats and dogs, whatever that represents money. And it is said that if you have a nice money corner, you will invite wealth into your life. So a money corner is a place that is deep inside your house. Um, it is a place that is within sight of your door. So like I always say, imagine you are a, a big coin. I'm a big giant coin. Walking into your house, you want to feel invited into the home. So where you see a money corner is like saying like, this is, this is your home. Go there. So you want the money corner to be quite deep inside the house so that the money goes straight into the depths of your home. You want it to be within sight of the door so that the money can easily find its way in. You want the money corner to have good energy around it, which is normally on the eastern side because that's where the sun rises. So that's why in most feng shui websites, it will say when you open the door, the furthest left corner of the room. Okay. But does it have, you said it has to be in view. It has to be in view. It has to be in view. It cannot be a hidden, hidden corner. So if it's a, if the deepest part of your home is in the bathroom, no, not, not that, not that, not that. It, it has to be usually in the living room. Yeah, yeah. If you if your if your home has like many many like corridors, like deep passageways, then your money corner has to be right at the end of the corridor. It cannot be too far in, otherwise the, the money can't find its way I in. See. You can have multiple <laughs> money corners. It's not a hard and fast rule. It's basically a place where you manifest well, put nice things, and it reminds you to work harder for the money that you're displaying. <laughs> 